2021 was another extraordinary year for public health, where the Ministry of Health and Wellness rolled out multiple strategies to keep the country safe and build resilience against the current and future global pandemics, all while improving access to quality care in the public health sector. After much preparation and planning, Jamaica received its first batch of COVID-19 vaccines in March 2021, and the Ministry of Health and Wellness immediately commenced priority of vaccination of the population, targeting 440,000 persons, including frontline workers and the most vulnerable in its first phase. Through vaccination of the elderly, we will immediately cauterize the number of persons who have negative outcomes. Scores of vaccination sites were set up, and various mass vaccination blitzes as well as house-to-house -house interventions conducted as the ministry built momentum towards the overall target of vaccinating 65% of the population by March 2022. And by year-end, with four brands available, over 1 million doses of COVID-19 vaccines had been administered. $10.5 billion was approved in budgeted allocation to support the COVID-19 response, including financing the cost of vaccines and vaccine deployment and implementation. Additionally, an agreement was signed with the United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, for the deployment of a vaccination management system software with registration and scheduling modules that enabled seamless scheduling of online vaccination appointments via the ministry's website and via telephone. The National Vaccination Program also received over 400 tablets, computers, and other electronic devices as part of an $11 million support package from the private sector of Jamaica's vaccination initiative. In 2021, the Ministry of Health and Wellness also contracted call center company ITEL BPO Smart Solutions to manage the telephone aspect of the vaccination registration and appointment process. An MOU was signed for a public-private partnership to accelerate the procurement and administration of COVID-19 vaccines in persons in these sectors. This MOU allows us to move through these groups a lot quicker. Healthcare workers from several private hospitals and school nurses were trained and approved in key areas of vaccine administration, while a number of private entities were contracted to administer the vaccine free of cost and carry out COVID-19 testing. This is another case of us working together as a team, as a country, uh, in order to protect our population. The last 12 months also saw public health benefiting from several donations from corporate Jamaica and international partners to support the pandemic response. As the ministry focused resources on upgrading public health infrastructure last year, a new state-of-the-art elevator was commissioned at the Victoria Jubilee Hospital. We have now been able to have two working elevators. Also in 2021, Approval was granted by Cabinet, awarding a contract to provide three X-ray machines to the Kingston Public Hospital and one each to the Spanish Town, National Chest and the Bustamante Hospital for Children at a cost of $453.4 million. Ground was broken for a multi-story parent overnight suite and wards at the Bustamante Hospital for Children while a new pharmacy was opened at the hospital. Digital health care was also part of the expansion mode last year, as the Ministry of Health and Wellness signed a contract for an ICT health system strengthening program with Cable and Wireless Jamaica Limited. This is game-changing. Work also took place to complete the construction of the Adelphi Health Centre in St. James, while upgrading work was completed on the Flanker Health Centre. The Ministry of Health and Wellness signed a contract in November with the construction firm M&M Jamaica Limited to carry out the penultimate phase of the work at the Cornwall Regional Hospital at a cost of close to $1.7 billion. <music> Government's efforts to upgrade public health infrastructure were also supported by the Adopt-a-Clinic initiative in 2021. 
The ophthalmology department at the Bustamante Hospital for Children last year received a donation of examination equipment for early detection and treatment of abnormal eye conditions and diseases. A new operating theatre bed was gifted to the Percy Junior Hospital in Manchester. The country's disease surveillance and health research capacity was significantly strengthened in 2021 with the acquisition of the country's first genome sequencing machine. The country also made advances in 2021 towards meeting the refocused and reprioritized UNAIDS 1999 target with the introduction of self-test kits for persons to conduct their own HIV test. With or a quick, a rapid antibody test kit, the power is literally now in your hands. As part of the wellness agenda last year, the ministry launched a research study on the knowledge, attitudes and practices of salt consumption among the population. A national committee on NCDs was launched in the past year to review and make recommendations to the ministry and stakeholders on policies, laws and programs related to NCDs. In its further support for healthy lifestyles and NCDs prevention in 2021, the ministry launched a pilot software application called JA Moves on the Move the first set of reach-out rangers to help individuals in community facing challenges amid COVID-19 were appointed in 2021. These were just some of the activities in the Ministry of Health and Wellness in 2021. Building resilience in public health, establishing pillars that will support national growth and development as the country recovers stronger from the COVID-19 pandemic. <music>